In today's video, we're going to be discussing the uh, three states of matter. For the purposes of this video, we're going to assume that molecules appear to look like tiny spheres. So let's have a look at some of the properties of solids to begin with. Now, from everyday experience, we know that solids have a few defining characteristics. Number one, they tend to have a definite shape. For example, this pen over here has a certain volume and it will require quite a lot of force to be applied for this volume to be changed either by deformation or by breaking. Now, the reasons why solids have this definite volume is because if we look at the molecular structure of solids, it looks something like this. In fact, the molecules in a solid are arranged in a lattice structure. The intramolecular forces do not allow them to move, but they only vibrate. So, if I was to heat this solid up by increasing its temperature for example if it's ice you could uh, you can heat it up the particles are going to start vibrating with a larger amplitude additionally the speed of vibration will also increase now if we increase the energy even further, the molecules are suddenly going to have enough energy to flow past each other. We've then passed the melting point of the substance. This is the normal diagram, the normal molecular diagram of a liquid. You're going to notice two things. Number one, there is definitely less order compared to the fixed order ordered lattice of the of the of the solid structure additionally on average the distances between molecules are a little bit larger finally the particles have enough energy to move past each other Additionally, we know of uh, many interesting properties of, uh, of liquids. Number one, they tend to conform to the shape of the container that, that they're in. So if you have a, uh, you know, a glass of water, the uh, shape of, of, the, uh, of the fluid will, will conform to the shape of the container. Now, if we keep increasing the temperature of our liquid, we're going to be introducing more and more energy into the system, more and more energy into those molecules. They're eventually going to start moving greater distances. If we go past the boiling point, the liquid is going to turn into a gas. Now the diagram, the molecular diagram for a gas looks similar to this. I've even drawn some velocity vectors just to illustrate that all those particles are moving at random speeds and at random velocities. Notice a couple of things. Number one, there are much greater distances between each of the individual molecules. So none of the intramolecular forces are important anymore. In fact, they are negligible and for, a, for an ideal gas, they're considered to be zero. Um, a gas will tend to fill the, uh, the entire container. For example, if you have a room full of air, the volume of the air is going to be the volume of the container. A gas is also highly compressible. So you can take a pump, for example, and you can increase the pressure in your, in, in your bicycle tires. What we're going to be carrying on studying are some of the properties of those gases in this unit. Okay, guys, so hopefully you've enjoyed this video looking at the three states of matter. If you have any questions, uh, as always, feel free to leave a comment down below or drop me an email. Thank you very much.